My name is Ryan Farrell from Universal Medical, and today's technique video is about selecting the right pair of dental loops. In order to select the right pair of dental loops, you have to be able to measure your working distance. In order to do this, you have to put yourself in a working environment. I said, put yourself in a working environment. Once you get situated, get yourself in an ergonomic position. Now you want to measure the distance from your nose down to the clinical point of interest. You will use this measurement to determine the size of your dental loops. Now the next thing you'll want to consider is the magnification. This will affect your depth of field and field of view, so choose wisely. Your depth of field can also be seen as the range in which your dental loops stay in focus. This is fixed depending on size and magnification. For example, these large dental loops have a working distance of 18 inches and a magnification of 3 times. With these two numbers, these dental loops will have a 3.5 inch field of view and a depth of field of 5.5 inches. Meaning there will be wiggle room of focus 2.75 inches before and after your working distance of 18 inches. If you have any questions or comments regarding these numbers, feel free to drop a line on our comments section and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks for watching.